Hi folks, so uh, it's bonfire night, uh, 5th of November um, and obviously in England this is what we celebrate as Guy Fawkes night. Uh, anyway, so uh, I was going to go to an organised bonfire, uh, sadly that's not going to happen now because various different reasons, uh, one being that some of the venues have checked out, are ticketed and you have to pay to get in. Uh, some are sold out, some are free tickets, but you have to get the tickets, but again, they've, they're, all the tickets have, have gone. Uh, some places are difficult to get to, uh, it wouldn't be straightforward, it would take me a little while, and also cost me some more money on the, on the travel to get there. Um, so, in the end, uh, ultimately, what I've plumped for is, I bought my own fireworks at the end of the day, they weren't quite expensive, they're only cheap. So I don't know what we're gonna get from these though. They're gonna be really cheap fireworks, you know what I mean? So we're not gonna get like a really spectacular flipping display like we might have done if we'd gone to one of those big organized ones, sadly. Sorry about that, but anyway. So there's 14 fireworks in it, it cost me six six pound fifty. Uh, I'll just show you inside the box without spilling them all over the place. Uh, so there we go look you see there's there's the fireworks it's got a little tape tape thing see uh, I forget what you call those things now but, you know the thing to light the fireworks with anyway so there we go there's all the little fireworks obviously you know because it's such a small thing and it's, it's there's no rockets or anything like that it's mostly stuff that's just gonna fizz and make lots of colors I don't think there's anything in there that goes bang necessarily there might be I'm not sure uh, and if it does it's not going to be a big bang um, so it's not really going to be bangs and stuff I haven't got any sparklers I was thinking about getting sparklers but this was 650 as it was so I thought well we'll just stick with this so I'll be doing that in a little bit in the garden uh, but uh, yeah so uh, now let me give you just a little bit of uh, history about well uh, I'll give you more history on that later actually, and I'm going wait, 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 it's just one, one thing I wanted to, oh actually I'll leave the camera there, I can't be, oh, I was going to, well, anyway, so yeah, because of course it's a big tradition, has been for years in this country, but I think, I don't know, maybe it's me and maybe it's because I'm getting older and when, you see, it's more for the kids than anything, it's always really traditionally been more about the, the kids, it's, or, or, or a family thing really, but it's not, I mean, yeah, obviously adults can participate and adults obviously do, um, and, you know, don't get me wrong, the, the kid in me, the child in me is quite excited as well, because, you know, fireworks are exciting, um, and, you know, the thing is that, but traditionally it is meant as a kid's thing, do you know what I mean? Obviously not for the kids to play with the fireworks, obviously. Uh, but, you know, just, anyway, it's kind of, it, you'll find that it's generally kind of geared in that sort of general direction, generally, in terms of the sort of marketing for the thing as well, all, all that carry on. Anyway, anyway. But, obviously, the tradition is that, like, it stems from a guy called Guy Fawkes, uh, I forget what year um, off the top of my head. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly um, but anyway so this guy called Guy Fawkes he plotted with a few other people to blow up the house of the Parliament uh, and he was captured and he was literally captured in the act literally about to you know light the torch or whatever the heck it was he was about to do um, and he was apprehended and uh, I can't remember exactly what happened after that but like I said what I'll do is I'll find a little bit more detailed information on that and probably put it in, in with the video because um, you know sometimes I don't want to go into a big long detailed explanation although sometimes that can be interesting and maybe I'll think about doing that more on some of my videos actually because uh, yeah that, that's a bit of fun out there as well on a Saturday night and particularly on a Saturday, for some reason, that road, because of all the cars get parked up either side and it's a small road to begin with, 
Um, and then you get the drivers just, oh, it drives me nuts sometimes to be quite honest. You know, because it's like, me, 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 it's like, why are you beeping? The guy in front of you can't go anywhere because he can't move and so, and so on and so on. You know, instead of just arguing each another, just work it. I've seen some people get out of the cars, right, and actually start trying to organise the rest of the drivers. Uh, and say, right, mate, you back up into there, you let this guy through there, and then we, then we can all... And some people are like, yeah, spot on, mate, well done. Do you know what I mean? You sorted the, the issue out and everybody's got moving. Do you know what I mean? And I've seen some of them just sitting there, beep, 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 beep. Do you know, and then start arguing each other, you know, throwing insults at each other. It's sometimes it's hilarious to watch. It really is. One day I'm going to take the camera out there and film it and show you guys, and you'll see how idiotic drivers can be sometimes. So, folks, I'm building myself a tiny little bonfire. Obviously, that would be huge normally in various different places. I'm just building myself a little bonfire because I thought, well, why not? Do you know what I mean? And uh, whilst we've been doing that, I've been missing some of the fireworks going off actually. Uh, right, look. Let me just show you this by the way. Oh, look at this traffic man. Oh, and everyone gets out of their cars and starts moaning at each another, having a go at each another. Because nobody has the sense to flip in, think, oh, maybe we should try and back up this way because it's like, no, oh, I'm not backing up. No, you back up. No, you back up. No, you back up. You know. It, oh, there we go. Look, there's some of the fireworks. Oh, I just missed that then. You see what I mean? See how they beep at each another? It makes no sense. You know, can't you see that the other drivers can't go anywhere? So beeping at them, is that going to make them move? That's going to make the impossible happen, is it? I mean, I get the fact that it's probably because of frustration and stuff, you know what I mean? But, I mean, for crying out loud, man. It's just about using a bit of common sense, isn't it? Oh, there we go, a lot. See, like you can see some of the fireworks going off. It's difficult, isn't it? You go to film the. You go, yeah, oh, there it is, there it is, look. There. You go to film some of the flipping fireworks and they, they stop. Uh, typical, isn't it? Uh, Oh well. <laughs> anyway, like I say, obviously you do get some people that are a bit sensible and he's trying to he's trying to get everybody directed in the right direction now. Uh, trying to get people moving. Instead of just beeping at each other. Like that really solves it. Ooh. Now a little one. This must be coming from somebody's garden, a bit like what I'm gonna be doing later. Uh, but they've obviously got like rockets and stuff and what have you. Do you know what I mean? Uh, wow. They say it's great when the big ones go off, you know what I mean? It's like, wow. Oh, look, it's a UFO. No, it's not, it's an airplane. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. I would love to capture something, I would. The amount of people I see on the uh, secure team and some of the other what's names and the all. Everybody seems to manage to film something, apart from me, who's been into it since he was a kid and has loved the subject, do you know what I mean? And never manages it. whoa, yeah, never manages to capture anything, do you know what I mean? Right, just, just my luck, innit? Right, okay. See, that's the other thing as well, everyone's so impatient, man. Everyone's just trying to beat the other guy, you know what I mean? And it's like, flipping it. Right, okay. Can you go back in? Get this sorted out. Right, okay. See, a lot of people been also trying to get to the flip. Can you listen to them? Oh, here we go again. Beep! Beep! I'm so impatient. I've got to get to the bonfire before it ends. 
Oh, I don't know. But yes, and of course, Spotty. I've got to be very mindful of Spotty. So as long as he stays with me, well, he should do anyway. I, I don't, he won't go anywhere. Uh, I'll, I'll try and keep him indoors as much as possible. Um, listen to them. Oh, that is so annoying. It really annoys the heck out of me. Sorry, I don't know why. I mean, like, you know, so you can argue, well, why are you getting so flipping annoyed for? <laughs> it's not even you, is it? It's like, you know, you're just... Oh, I don't know. I know, I know. Right, okay. So, like I say, I'm going to try and get this thing lit. Although, to be perfectly honest with you, you know, I haven't got any proper kindling or any proper what's name or anything to start with. This was just literally off the top of my head right this minute and I thought, oh, let's see if we can... So I've got a few bits of old pieces of wood that I don't really... I mean, I might have used at some point, maybe, but maybe not. Uh, so I thought, well, let's let's try and do the whole work, say, eh, if we can. Probably not, but still, no, I mean, trying. Right, okay. Right, I'll definitely leave it there for now. Uh, and I'll catch you guys shortly. Bye for now. Sorry, I just got sidetracked by that because I know the noise from out there when it's when I'm doing this on the camera. That's why I usually have the door shut. It's quite loud, actually. It picks it up quite loud. I noticed. Anyway, right. Sorry, sidetracked. Um, so, uh, yeah. So some of the other traditions of bonfire night is a thing called uh, toffee apples. Uh, so we have toffee apples, uh, we uh, traditionally eat baked potatoes, uh, jacket potatoes, that is. Um, uh, what else? Oh, um, there's a thing called, uh, um, oh, I forgot what it's called, uh, treacle toffee. Uh, it's a sort of hard toffee thing, it's very brittle, uh, it's called treacle toffee. Uh, it's got a very bitter taste to it. I, I, I don't mind a little bit, but I never liked it that much as a kid, I must admit, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, what else do we traditionally have? Uh, oh, a thing called parking. Which is uh, not car parking, by the way, it's a cake called parking. Uh, traditionally from Yorkshire, I believe. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so you've got a thing called parking, which is a very sticky uh, cake. Again, it's something I didn't like. I, didn't, I tried it a couple of times as a child and I didn't like it. Um, what else? Uh, there is a couple of other things and they completely escaped me for a minute. But like I said, I'll give a bit more of a detailed um, sort of history of it and stuff uh, later on in the video. Um, so yeah, so there's big traditions around it and like I say, you build a bonfire. Uh, like I say, after he, uh, Guy Fawkes was caught and everything and what have you, what the what the tradition was then after that was that you would build a huge big bonfire as if to represent the the possible explosion that didn't happen uh, and then you build an effigy of Guy Fawkes which is usually like made out of old clothes stuffed with newspaper or straw or whatever you, you know you stuff it with um, and then you stick that on top of the bonfire and set fire to it uh, and then of course then the fireworks not long after that uh, and then also another tradition and I did this as a kid I did it a couple of times as a kid but one particular time when I was about eight years old because uh, like they see this is what I'm saying that's why it's it's generally more geared towards the kids this sort of thing uh, especially these days but um, anyway so like another thing that we well, I did when I was about eight years old uh, is like I say you'd make the effigy you'd make the the what's the name of Guy Fawkes and there's a tradition I don't know you know when I think about it a lot of these traditions that I remember from around Bonfire Night that over the last few years particularly I, I don't notice happening so much anymore uh, I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I'm just not in the right areas or whatever and maybe the tradition is still practiced at certain places or whatever I don't know to be quite honest but one of the traditions was is that you would make the effigy you make the Guy Fawkes and then you would about like maybe a week maybe even a couple of weeks beforehand uh, you would go around, you would either take him around in a little, you know, like a little toy uh, truck thing, you know, like a, like, um, I forget there's a name for him and I can't think what it is, like a little trailer, like a little, what's the name, uh, or you would just, uh, like in a, a shopping trolley, shopping cart, or whatever, you know what I mean, you, you would, you know, sometimes you would sit around your, near your local area, like that's what I did, or sometimes you would actually go travelling further afield, taking your 
effigy of Guy Fawkes with you as kids uh, and we would do a thing called Penny for the Guy. Uh, and that was a traditional way of trying to, um, you know, it was for kids to try and get some money together so they could buy fireworks. Not obviously themselves, because obviously kids are not allowed to buy fireworks in this country uh, by law. You've got to be, I think, 18 and over, do you know what I mean, before you're allowed to buy fireworks. Um, and like I say, you know, which for obvious reasons as well. Uh, but anyway, the, the point is, is that like that's essentially what they would be trying to get the money for. You know, fireworks, maybe maybe to get um, some treats. You know, like I say, that you know the toffee apples or whatever sort of thing. Blah blah blah. Uh, but I did it, like I say, when I was eight years old, back in a place called Moss Side in Manchester, where I used to live many, many, many years ago. Uh, I was about eight years old. I sat outside my front door. Uh, with my guy forks that I'd made and I was sat there and I was sort of like as people walking past penny for the guy please penny for the guy please um, and so that was another tradition that's set around uh, bonfire night uh, as I say I've never I've not noticed many kids doing it these days I, mind you like I say maybe I'm just not in the right areas at the right time when when kids are doing that I don't know um, but I've never I've not seen that for years to be quite honest uh, I presume it still happens. Um, right, okay, I'm going to leave it there for now, uh, but obviously I'm going to be doing a couple of videos throughout the night. Uh, obviously I'm going to show you the fireworks, uh, and as I said, I'll probably give a bit more of a history of, of Bonfire Night as well, sort of thing, or a little bit more of a history of it, sort of thing. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, I'm going to make myself something to eat. Uh, and I've got myself a couple of snacks. I didn't get any toffee apples. Uh, maybe I should have done actually. Maybe I should have, you know, got some toffee apples. Although, like I said, um, treacle toffee. Not a big fan of treacle toffee. Um, I will eat a little bit of it, but I'm, I'm not that big fan of it, to be quite honest. But maybe I should have got a little bit or a toffee apple or something, some sort of traditional bonfirey food. Right, okay, I'm going to leave it there for now, folks. Uh, and like I say, I'll do some more throughout the night. So I'll catch you guys soon. You can actually hear some of the fireworks in the distance already. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just go and have a quick nosy out the door, shall we? Just a quick, let's have a quick nosy. Sadly, you won't be able to see them this year. There was a park, my park, Brockwell Park, is just down there in that direction. And normally, even with this flipping tree in the way, you'd be able to see some of the sky being lit up with the fireworks, but this year they're not having it. Lambeth Council have cancelled it. So that's, that's another reason why, you know, otherwise I would have gone down to my local park down there. You know what I mean? They usually have a big, huge display down there. But, like I say, they've cancelled it this year, so. Anyway, but listen, you can, I, I presume you can hear that on here. The explosions. <laughs> anyway, right. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, and I shall catch you guys momentarily. Momentarily. I can't even speak. Momentarily. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to leave you there. Bye for now.